Hi everybody, this is part one of my UI web view tutorial series in the iPhone SDK. In this part, we're just going to be learning about how to communicate between our Objective-C code and our external JavaScript code within the web view. So, go and start a project of any type. I'm using view-based. Um, and let's go ahead and just open up our uh, nib file here to put our web view. It's going to be pretty simple. So I already have my web view on there. Um, there's just a few things you need to do. Make sure the delegate for the web view is set as files owner. Um, and while we're thinking about it, let's uh, set our view controller as the UI web view delegate. And then we're going to need to have an IB outlet UI web view. Um, we're just going to call it wView, and we need a uh, at property, non-atomic retain, IB outlet, UI web view, wView again, view, okay, and then in our .m file, we're just going to synthesize it, wView. Okay, so we're gonna connect our web view to that IB outlet we just we just created in our files owner. So drag it, drag the uh, thing from W view outlet to the UI web view. Save it. We're done with the interface builder. So you can close that. All right. So now we're in our .m file. Or sorry, go back to the .h. Hold down Alt, double click UI Web View Delegate, click on the little book. And what we need is the Web View Did Finish Load Delegate method. Copy that definition into your .m file, because um, in order to actually work with JavaScript, we have to wait until the document's fully um, loaded externally, because JavaScript's client side um, scripting. And then make sure to uncomment your View Did Load method, because within here, this is where we're actually going to load the URL into our web view otherwise we can't do anything so just do the web view load request and you need to pass in an NS URL request request with URL and then within that you need an NS URL URL with string then just your basic URL um, and then make sure to close all the brackets obviously and this needs to be uh, w view and then within our web view did finish load we can just you can use either uh, the w view um, variable or the the web view parameter within this method I'm just going to use web view and then we're going to do the uh, string by evaluating JavaScript from string and here essentially you just send um, JavaScript commands to it as you would actually writing JavaScript on the file on an HTML or uh, web-based file so we're going to do uh, in a string string with format I mean you don't obviously you don't need to pass in a string with format unless um, unless for of course you want to like f you know um, add parameters or whatnot dynamic parameters um, and this one's gonna be we're gonna have a method within our JavaScript called uh, say something and uh, go ahead and do the uh, within quotes within our JavaScript we need um, the percent sign at sign because we're going to have some formatting there and then we need a um, semicolon within there and then end those uh, that string literal objective C string literal and then we're going to do comma and uh, this can be whatever text you want I'm just going to say uh, hello from objective C um, I, I don't know yeah hello from J objective C and go ahead and end those brackets so now if you go into your favorite uh, web editor um, or web development environment on your server, create a file. I have my basic HTML tags. It's a PHP file. You don't need a PHP file right now. But in my next tutorials, we're going to be working with post data and whatnot, which will want um, something like PHP, like some server-side scripting language. And then within our script tags, I have a uh, function say something with the parameter text, and it just says alert text. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Um, actually, let me pause it real quick. 
All right, so now let's run it. Should build just fine. It does. It runs, and then we get an alert box with our uh, blank UI web view. But still, it we do uh, succeed in calling the JavaScript and getting an alert and everything. So that's this tutorial. Stay stay tuned for the next parts of the UI web view. Um, the next one, I hope to work with some post data, which is nice for sending really long strings and whatnot. Um, lots of data. Uh, over the internet and working with uh, an external web page. So, thanks for watching.